Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and this is a island peninsula with cooktop that I built in 2015. And for receptacles, I put in two 4x4 four four boxes, one there and one over here, and I put two spec grade receptacles here and two here for a total of eight outlets. Now, there's been a lot of changes to the 2020 NEC code for peninsulas and countertops and so forth. So I thought I'd ask you, how many receptacles do you think are required now for the 2020 NEC code for this particular island peninsula? And this is seven feet from this edge to this edge. And this is two feet from there to there. So this is 14 square feet right here. And up here, this is, well, this is seven feet this way, and this is 18 inches this way. So this is 10 and a half square feet. So the total square footage of the countertops is 24 and a half square feet. So for the 2020 NEC code, how many receptacles do you think are required for this island peninsula with cooktop? Let's get into it. Here we are at the 2020 NEC, and I'm going to start out with an exception. And it is right here, and it is 210.523C1. Exception, receptacle outlets shall not be required directly behind a range, countermounted cooking unit, or sink in the installation described in the figure that I'm going to show you in a little bit. So I don't have to have one right behind that cooktop. It's not going to change the total amount of receptacles that I need. But I do not need to have one right behind that cooktop. And here we are at 210.52C2. Island and peninsular countertops and work surfaces. Receptacle outlets shall be installed in accordance with 210.52C2A and C to B. This is the A they're talking about, and this is the B they're talking about right here. A, at least one receptacle outlet shall be provided for the first 0.84 square meters, that is nine square feet or fraction thereof, of the countertop or work surface. A receptacle outlet shall be provided for every additional 1.7 square meter that is 18 square feet or fraction thereof of the countertop or work surface. So let's look at our island countertop again. We have a total of 24.5 square feet. And for the first nine square feet, we need one receptacle. And for each additional 18 square feet, we need one more receptacle. So for our peninsula countertop with 24 and a half square feet, we need a total of two receptacles. So if you guessed two, you were correct. Congratulations. Of course, you can exceed that amount if you like, but by code, you need two. And B, at least one receptacle outlet shall be located within 600 millimeters, that's two feet, of the outer end of a peninsular countertop or work surface. Additional required receptacle outlets shall be permitted to be located as determined by the installer, designer, or building owner. The location of the receptacle outlets shall be in accordance with 210.52C3, which is this. This drawing shows a range, counter-mounted cooking unit, or sink extending from face of counter. And it says outlet within 24 inches. Here, outlet within 24 inches here. And for a corner mounted arrangement like this, you would have outlet within 24 inches here and outlet within 24 inches here. And the last note I'd like to bring up is under receptacle outlet location. I think this is a very important point. It is three, you can put them, the receptacles, below the countertop or works surfaces not more than 300 millimeters, that's 12 inches below the countertop or work surface. Receptacles installed below a countertop or work surface shall not be located 
where the countertop or work surface extends more than 150 millimeters, that's six inches, beyond its support base. So that gives you some good information about installing receptacles on a peninsula island in a kitchen. I'll put links in my video description for this spiral bound NEC code book and for the NEC 2020 handbook. Also, I'll put links for Ugly's reference books and for the DeWalt cable stapler, as well as for Leviton 20 amp tamper resistant commercial grade receptacles. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.